I know y'all miss Brain as much as I did, so here y'all go. What up, everybody? No, it's been a minute since y'all seen me, man. I ain't been on in a minute. But hopefully this turned out right, you know, so I'm recording. And uh, I'm going to send this video to April, so it will be inserted, hopefully, in the next video. But yeah, man, I hope everybody's doing well, everybody living good, staying healthy, staying safe, man. It's most important, you know, like, um, I know in a couple videos, April mentioned that uh, I'm gone from out the country, living abroad for a little bit. Should be home soon, though, real soon, man. Like, just being here just put life into perspective, you know, like, I man, you just never know, you just never know what um, situations you'll be put in and, and what you'll have to do to get out those situations and uh, be able to survive, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, uh, I'm glad to be back, you know, man. So hopefully, hopefully, man, this video turn out right in the uh, next YouTube video. Um, I see our, our subscriber list is going, man. Just keep subscribing, uh, keep sharing, man. Show us some love, man. We're a small YouTube channel, man. We're trying to get there, man. April batting all the motivation in the world. She motivated me when I be watching her videos, you know what I'm saying? So we both on the cut. Um, uh, I'm a little bit ahead. Uh, I think I'm a little bit ahead. According to plan, you know, I started off at a decent, a lower weight than usual. But, uh, um, yeah, so. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep, if this turns out right, I'm gonna keep vlogging my time here over here in uh, Europe. Um, I'm living, man. I'm living, it's beautiful over here. It's beautiful. Um, so yeah, so hopefully it, it, it turn out right. And uh, yeah, so um, I'm looking forward to seeing her next month in uh, London. That should be dope. Uh, I'll be flying from over here, there. See, see, see Bay for her birthday, kick it with her. Turn it with her and the friends that's gonna fly over and man, it's gonna be a good time, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't take nothing for granted, man. So, um, hey man, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good, man. So hopefully this turn out right, then I can I can vlog some Europe experiences and and um so y'all can see how your boy living over here, man. So stay tuned. Hey y'all, welcome back to episode three of the Summer Lean series. So it is Saturday, uh, it's Memorial Day weekend. I'm getting ready to go to Denver. I got up this morning and I did some cardio and I did some uh, glutes and calves um, because yesterday I wanted to take a rest break. So I'm all dressed, my cute um, maxi. Got my little brazen. Um, but yeah, so I'm getting ready to go to Denver. So this is like a weekend vlog slash the summer lean. I'm still give you guys like summer lean stuff, but yeah, today I do have my body contour massage. So y'all know I've been getting those regularly for ooh, a while, um, maybe like a year or two, so or three. Now I think it's probably been like three years that regularly I've been getting done. So today I'm getting wood therapy, which I love wood therapy. Plus I'm getting ice therapy. Either I'll get red light or ice. I like ice therapy. So I'll try to take you guys along so you guys can see that. But you guys have probably seen it in pre previous vlogs because I have vlogged it before. So yeah, we are going to enjoy our Saturday. It's so beautiful outside. It's like 81 degrees. Um, but yeah, we still in the summer lean. We getting it turned for summer. I'm super happy. Uh, that's honestly today I'll do something with the kids. Tonight I'll probably, you know, go out and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling like my summer lean is going pretty good. On Monday, I'm going to weigh myself. You guys know I weighed myself last week and I was, what was I? 144.0. Yes. So I was 144. So we're hoping around 143 142 that's what i'm hoping uh so we'll see but yeah you know i'm gonna try to give you guys a workout in this video some more like you know once when, when i'm not at home how i eat and stuff like if i'm in my summer lean try to show you guys you know you can still enjoy life and still be in a lean phase so yeah let's get this show on the road what's up y'all oh it's close so yeah we on the road now getting ready to go on the road um i like to one thing I do like to do when I'm like in a lean cut is obviously I feel like when you're driving you like to snack and stuff. One thing I like to do is like instead of like taking the whole bag or something, I'll put a serving in here. So this is a serving of pretzels. So I already know what a serving 
is already because I already have it logged in my phone but this is a way to like stay on track so instead of just putting a whole bunch of pretzels in the bag or taking the whole bag I put a serving a serving was 19 pretzels so I took two bags um probably like one for today one for tomorrow and then I'd love to bring my built bars y'all these have like this one this flavor is salted caramel it has 17 grams of protein so all their bars are from like 16 so I want to say like 18 grams of protein so this is the way for me to get my protein in and plus also get my sweet too so this is salted caramel it's a chocolate chocolate protein bar so good really tastes like salted caramel um, I do have a code uh, so April L 10 so make sure you guys go to the website I'll link it but these bars are freaking delicious um, I love it. This has only 4 grams of sugar, 17 grams of protein, and 130 calories. So, one of my favorites that I love to take without, like, on the road, at home, I love to eat these good bars. So, we're going to get to our destination. And, like I said, my next up, I have my massage, my body contouring, my wood therapy. So, yeah. Stay true, J Bay. I'm back from my um, appointment so I like I was telling you guys I got I always get wood therapy said it wood therapy you said do ice therapy but today I did cryo y'all chef's kiss add it to your routine um, I like it better honestly because you kind of get the same effect but it's less messy the ice therapy can get really messy um, so I've gotten a cryo facial before so just getting on my abdomen I was like oh this is new but she recommended it and I enjoyed it so I'm definitely start like alternating between the ice therapy and the cryotherapy when I do my wood therapy but the wood therapy is like those manual tools as y'all see like it really helps drain your lymphatic system drain out like the toxins and snatch the waste because it breaks down the fat so I like to add that now granted you know just adding that to your routine is not going to give you this magical snatch waste you got to exercise properly and properly is the key word not just exercise but make sure you're doing it properly having a plan you know making sure that your exercise goals work with your lifestyle and work with whatever goal you're trying to achieve obviously and then eating properly proper nutrition all of that plays a part in you know how your waist looks and is shaped um so yeah that was what i did i loved it um I've been getting wood therapy for a couple years, honestly, and I just really like, like, after I, you know, you get the wood therapy, I will say, um, so, like, right afterwards, I always have to use the bathroom really bad, number one and two, I know, TMI, TMI, but it really, like, flushes your system, so, try to, like, add it, let me know what y'all think, or if you already get wood therapy, all of that stuff, ice therapy, red light therapy, I get where, I've gotten red light therapy, too, let me know how you like it, um, but yeah, so getting ready to take the kids and get something to eat because we are starving. Um, I'm hungry. Your girl's hungry. Like I am starving. I don't. I think I did. I ate breakfast. I didn't eat lunch. Um, I had a green juice for lunch actually, but I'm starving. So I'm gonna find something to eat. I'm gonna have a lemon drop today because I'm, I count those in my calories. Um, so I, you know, you can approximate. I'm not gonna have the exact calories, but I'm just gonna put in what I would use when I'm at home and make my own lemon drop. So at least the calories be in there. It may not be the exact calories, but it'll be a roundabout. So I've counted that into my calories for the day. I'm gonna have a lemon drop. You can still have a drink when you're in lean season if that's what you should choose to do, and I'm choosing to because I have the calories. So that's what I feel like spending my carbs on today. And we're going to have us a lemon job. Cheers. So, yeah, let me find something else for eat so we can go eat. I really have a taste for oysters. Don't know if I'm going to get those oysters because you got to make sure that whatever I want coincides with whatever they want to eat. So, let's see. Let's see. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Stay true, J Bay. So me and BJ are getting ready to walk to the mall, see what kind of money we can spend. Try to see what pieces Zara got. So yeah, got my favorite guy BJ with me. 
Then he wants to go get some ice cream, so I might go get some ice cream. I don't know if I'll get some ice cream. We'll see how I'm feeling. I might just want like a little taste. But I showed you guys my dinner. It was like a kale salad. It had kale, like chia seed dressing, quino, quino, however you say it, um, salmon. It had cranberries, mango. It was so good. So different. Beet chips, yam chips. So different, but so good, so delicious. And I had my lemon drops. So, yeah, we're going to just walk ourselves to the mall. So, see y'all in the mall. I want to see if Zara has something. Like maybe Zara has some pieces, you know? Going on my trips and stuff. So, I have them pieces. I'm in the gym so I got up this morning without last night but I got up this morning and I got to the gym so yeah so I'm gonna work out it's a very limited gym as you can see um, they have some dumbbells That's really it. treadmills the climber so I'm doing the treadmill right now I'm just doing an incline walk a little bit of running and we're gonna do a shoulder workout so yeah I'm gonna show you guys that and that's pretty much it um, for my workout this morning, like I said, still in the hotel. Look at the body. Y'all, I really, 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 really want to get on here and just preach about food choices. You can work out all day, but honestly, what you put in your mouth determines how you look. Like, you can still, you know, live a healthy lifestyle, eat in moderation, still eat what you like to eat and not sacrifice everything. It's about, like, moderation. You know what I'm saying? So, and I feel like if you live a healthier lifestyle, it kind of like stops you from, you know, that cycle of falling on and all falling off. So just make sure, like I said, if you want to see your abs, smaller midsection, a tighter midsection, you got to really watch what you put in your mouth. It, that, that's really where it starts at because you can do a thousand crunches, a bunch of crunches, exercise every day. But if you're counteracting that with what you eat after the gym, what you're doing the other 23, 22 hours out of the day, it's going to be kind of productive. So just make sure... You guys get that nutrition on point. It starts with nutrition. But anyways, if you need help with that, make sure you guys hit me up, levelsofitness.com. Um, yeah, let's get to this workout. tired i'm getting ready to take me a nap because i'm going to go to the gym later and just do some more um cardio and abs <sighs> i showed you guys my shoulder workout earlier but i'm tired i want to show you guys though before i took a nap because like i said we just got back home um we went to brunch cute little place in downtown denver 
But I want to show you guys what I got from Zara. Zara's dressing rooms were closed yesterday. So I had actually got more stuff. But I had to go back. Yo, I'm looking a mess right now. I got Brandon's boxers on. But anyway. <laughs> um, so I had to go back to Zara's because their dressing rooms were closed. And some of the stuff I got just didn't fit. This is the only thing I got that did fit. It is this cute pink dress. Like a little slip dress, I guess. Super cute. Um, this is from Zara's, like I said. This is a size small. I actually probably could have got an extra small, but this is cute. Um, yeah, so I think that for my birthday, I want to have like an all pink theme, honestly. So this is going to be perfect. I tried it on, it was super cute. And then I went to Aritzia. Honestly, I see what the hype is about about Aritzia. Like the quality is expensive, but honestly, the quality is amazing. They wrap it so cute. The quality is amazing. So I got, this is just like casual stuff just to throw on. It was a couple other things that the girl, she gave me just so many things that she thought I'd be cute in. And honestly, the quality just like snatched me in. But I was just like, um, uh, some of this stuff was like overly priced. Like this dress was 60 just for this plain gray little t-shirt dress. It's super cute though. Like the material Bro, the material is so thick, but not like a hot thick. It just like snatched me in. So I'll probably wear these with like some little, either some sneakers or just like casual. Y'all know I really don't wear sneakers, but I think I'll probably wear it with like some little mules, like with a little kitten heel. So this was super cute. I got makeup on the back. Ah, I had tried it on yesterday with makeup, but anyway, this. And then I got this like razor back dress in like, what color is this? I think it's like a plum. It's a sun dried red rouge. So this was super cute too. Like I said, it just really like, like if you look at the sides, you see how like, I feel like it's like the way it's sold, it just snatches you in. So those are the two things I got from Aritzia. So cute like casual things just to throw on in the summer. So yeah, y'all, I'm gonna take me a nap before I do whatever I'm gonna do for the rest of the day like I said which is I need to meal prep but I probably would tomorrow to meal prep I may show you guys in this vlog me meal prepping I don't know my meals usually are simple so probably just meal prep um I got my Topico Chico that I'm gonna sip on so it's Topico Chico which is sparkling water with a little bit of mio makes you feel like you're drinking a soda honestly if you use the lemonade uh, mio I promise you it tastes like Sprite if you use black cherry it tastes like Dr. Pepper so and it's zero calories. So, y'all, get on the meal. We're going to take a nap. Like I said, get up, go do some cardio. Maybe meal prep today, but I'll probably wait till tomorrow. And then tomorrow starts my regular, you know, weekend, I mean, week of workout. So, tomorrow is my gluten hams. And I'm trying to do Pilates tomorrow. I signed up for Pilates, but I'm on the wait list. So, Try to do Pilates tomorrow. Let me see where I'm at on the wait list. I think when I looked earlier, I was like number four. Yes, I'm still fourth on the wait list. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get into Pilates tomorrow. But if not, it's cool. Just like I said, I'm going to probably do some treadmill sprints tomorrow. And I'm going to do um, my glutes and my ham. So, and abs, of course. So let me take this nap because your girl is tired. The app say good morning. Hey guys, so happy Memorial Day. I just got back from the gym. Hence why I'm in my sports bra. So this is the start of our week three. Um, I'm gonna put on my weights here so you guys can see all my weights and how like, you know, it's been going for me. So we're gonna weigh ourselves. Um, and like I said, later on, I'm gonna go back to the gym and do my actual workout. It's Monday, so it's legs for me. I have uh, quads, not quads. I have hams, glutes, and abs. Um, so yeah, let's see what the weight says. I want to make sure you guys can see. There we go. Okay. I am 145.5 so that's actually up um a pound and a half so I had a like a Bluetooth scale I use the Fit Track Pro so um 
it like downloads everything so it gives you your weight your body mass your weight control weight without fat your standard weight your body fat percent your viscular fat your muscle mass protein mass all of that your metabolic your metabolic age so i was 145.5 today and um maybe if last week i was 144 so i'm up a pound and a half which is not bad because it's probably just water weight it's not fat um but one thing that i see on here is that my body fat percent went down by let's see 0.9 so it's a win i may have gained a little bit of weight um, so i'm probably you know losing fat gaining muscle muscle weighs more than fat so it's a win-win like yes i do want this scale to go down because i have a certain number that i want to hit by the end of my cut however the weight went up weight isn't linear it's going to go up it's going to go down however i'm super happy because my body fat percent went down and for me body fat percent is more important than weight um because when your body fat percent is down that's when you start to see more definition and things like that so it's a win-win i just know little things that i may need to tweak for this week so we is pushing and we going hard this week like i said um i'm gonna start showing you guys like more video more videos more um physique updates maybe like midweek things like that not just wait until the end of the week just stay tuned but i want to show you guys a little bit of the body so you guys can see a little bit of the physique of course we're gonna go downstairs because i feel like the lighting is better but yeah the lighting is definitely better i put my light on today so hopefully it's the lighting got you guys can see better but a little physique update like i said i really am noticing the definition like in my legs trying to get my work on my mini sweep um so yeah my back is i feel like looking good don't pay attention to these boxers but yeah, y'all, but let's go downstairs so you guys can see a little bit better of the physique. So, body update. She's looking a good. Y'all, my abs are just... This is not even like me flexing. So, next week I really want to take some better photos. I promise, I promise. But I'm in such a rush today. I still want to show you, you guys. Like I said, just came from the gym. But I feel like my legs are really starting to get toned. I'm starting to see, like you see. Yeah. Y'all see that right there? Let me get the little mini, working on my little mini suit. Sweet. So, yeah. I'm starting to feel really lean up here. Like my shoulder area. Uh, my back is definitely. I wish I could like. Right, guys, really can't see, but my back is really starting to get like toned. But I said next week I'm gonna really take some photos so you guys really can see a little bit better. But still want to show you guys the physique. Oh, look at that leg and them abs, baby. Oh, yeah. So she's feeling good. Hope you guys stay tuned for the next uh episode. So like I said, this is week three. We're going on. We're going on the third week, but this is the third um. This is like my week three, but this is, you know, episode three. So, yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm feeling good. So, yeah, so stay tuned for episode four. But, yes, guys. But by the time we get to episode four, like I said, that'd probably be like, what, week five? So, yeah, this is like me going into week three of my cut. So, like I said, I have put my weights on the screen so you guys can see, like, weight isn't always linear. You will go up, you will go down. Um, but I'm happy that I may have gained a pound and a half, which is probably just water weight. It's not fat. Um, it's just water weight. Like I said, from the weekend, probably, um, we ate out. I still ate healthy, but I still ate out. So it's just water weight. But then, like I said, my body fat percent went down 0.9. So it's a win-win. So see you guys on the next episode.